Simply put, yes, the near record precipitation that fell in March will improve the state wildfire outlook, but the benefits will only last a short time and they will only impact certain areas. That's because not all of Colorado got hit with the big precipitation this March. The green and the blue on this map show the spots that got about three to five inches of precipitation. That is where the wildfire potential will be reduced the most. And fire weather meteorologists say those spots that saw big March March precipitation will only get relief for about a month or maybe two. They expect lush vegetation to grow in thick this April, a period they call the green up. So that's going to uh, reduce the chances of having an earlier than normal onset to uh, fire season. Russ Mann says 30 days ago he was getting concerned over wildfire potential in April and May. Those feelings are now much more relaxed. He says large wildfires that last for several days are not common during a big green up. But that doesn't mean we won't have possibly above average uh, fire, fire potential as, uh, when we get into June and early July. He says the overall weather pattern favors warmer and drier weather ahead. So this year could parallel with 2003. That year began with widespread exceptional drought followed by a very wet March, but then hit a dry stretch from April to August, which led to the return of drought conditions and two large wildfires in October. The Cherokee Ranch Fire in Douglas County and the Overland Fire in Boulder County, which destroyed 12 homes. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.